Well, new tonight from gas prices to groceries, prices are still going straight up. We are seeing inflation rates not seen here in the U.S. in 40 years. And many things are now costing more, and we seem to be getting less. KCRA3's Melanie Wingo joins us now live from our newsroom with a look at these inflation impacts. Most recent data puts inflation rates at 7.9%. And yeah, you have to scroll all the way back to the early 80s on charts that keep track of this sort of data to find higher inflation rates. So tonight we heard from an economics expert about why this is all happening right now and when things are going to look better for all of us. Reports about inflation are almost inescapable right now, and economists say it's easy to understand why. Inflation rates are at the highest rate that we've seen them in about 40 years, um, and that's part of what makes it look scary. But David Lang, chair of Sacramento State's economics department, gives us some perspective on inflation. And it's a phenomenon that we see happen pretty much all the time. He says we're noticing it now, though, as inflation hits our day to day lives everywhere from the grocery store to the garden store. And we're not out of the woods yet. Everything is going to be heading up most likely. The conflict in Ukraine having a direct impact. The unfortunate situation going on overseas is affecting what's going on at home in terms of our inflation. The war and resulting spikes in gas prices here decided. in the United States are having that ripple effect. All of those a uh, little bit here, a little bit there really add up to a very large dollar sum. And that does turn into higher prices of a lot of goods. And Lang predicts things will get worse before getting better. So we should brace ourselves for the immediate future of seeing prices continue to go up for a while. But I assure you they will not continue to go up forever. Most estimates, he says, put a leveling off of inflation happening at the end of the calendar year. March feels like a long way from the end of the calendar year, but in terms of business cycles, it's just not that far away. Lang explaining, we can think of inflation almost like a necessary evil in a fast growing economy, admitting things are off kilter right now, but that the economy has a history of writing itself when given enough time. What that means is that 40 years ago, the inflation rates were really high and then they came down. They, they didn't stay up there forever. In the long run, I promise you everything is going to be okay. Now, adding to the complexity of where we are right now, supply chain issues are still getting back to normal after major disruptions around the holidays. We're also still figuring out how to spend in this post-pandemic world. Now, one step the Federal Reserve may take that could temper inflation is nudging those interest rates higher. Look for that to happen potentially at the end of the month. And our next look at inflation will happen in the second week of April. Goldston and Edie. All right. So now we just take a deep breath. It's hard yeah. to. It's hard <laughs> yeah. to sometimes when you look at those bills. Thanks, Melanie. Mm -hmm.